welcome to our Tuesday Tip Series entitled, Did You Know That? Where we will be discovering or rediscovering for some tips in the 4350.3 handbook. Today's first tip can be found under obligation to affirmatively further fair housing. In chapter two, paragraph 2-5, section DA, it states, HUD does not require subsidized multifamily projects built prior to February 1972 to have an affirmative fair housing marketing plan unless the property has been substantially rehabbed subsequently to February 1972 or if the plan is required for a housing assistance contract. Did you know that? However, these owners are required to affirmatively market their units to those least likely to apply. Did you know that? The second tip can be found under Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973. In Chapter 2, Paragraph 2-8, Section A, Number 1, it states that it's the owner's responsibility for making and paying for reasonable structural modifications to units and or common areas that are needed by applicants and tenants with disabilities. Unless these modifications would change the fundamental nature of the project or result in undue financial and administrative burdens. Did you know that? The final tip for today can be found under civil rights related program requirements. And it states, it's in chapter two, paragraph 2-9, section C, number one. It discusses improving access to services for persons with limited English proficiency. We call it LEP. For those who receive federal funds like the HAP benefits, it states that housing owners must, not may or can, but must take steps to ensure meaningful access to the information and services they provide for persons with LEP. This may include interpreter services and or written materials translated into other languages. HUD has languages, uh, has other languages in the lease and a lot of their forms, but they do not have all of the information that you may have on your property. So that means things like your tenant selection plan that are of value to you, it won't be in there. Did you know that? Well, hopefully you marked or highlighted those tips in your 4350.3 handbook. And tune in next week for more of Did You Know That? We'll see you next week.